How do you know when your chainsaw needs sharpening? But most importantly, how do you sharpen it? Well, today I'm going to show you with this, the Oregon 610 Field Sharpening Kit purchased off of Amazon. Let's do it. Ah! Right, so three ways to know that your chainsaw chain needs sharpening. Three easy, simple ways to know. The first one is listen to the sound of your saw. If it sounds like it's struggling, there's a good chance it's going to need sharpening. Secondly, if it's taking you twice as long to cut through your logs than what it normally would, there's a good chance it needs sharpening. And thirdly, one of the easiest ways to know is to look at your sawdust. Just like that, got a massive pile just there. What you're wanting to see is nice, thick, coarse sawdust just like that you don't want fines the finer it is the worse it is and that is a very good indication that you need to sharpen your chainsaw chain so let's open this up let's give it a go and let's sharpen this chain saw chain all right so let's get it open let's see what you actually get don't need that Nice little pouch that everything is sat into. Instructions, most importantly, you want to go one motion. You ain't going back and forth. It's not like when you're having a tug. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. So you're getting your file holder. There you go with all the angles on. You are getting your round files, one, two, three of those. So you're getting a four mil, 4.8 and 5.5. That's in metric and imperial. They sizes just there. Also get in a nice flat file and also a depth gauge tool and then you get your little angle. So I'm going to be sharpening the chain on my Titan battery powered chainsaw. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a log out of my pile just there, stick it on my holder and just there, set my timer going on my phone, I'm going to cut a log off, stop that timer, sharpen my chain do the same again and we'll see what the difference is in times. So the log I'm using is six and a half inches in diameter or as the rest of the world know it apart from America and Canada 165 millimeters thick so let's get it on and let's cut it up so to make it a fair comparison I'm going to use a fully charged battery on each cut because I've got two of these bad boys and then I'm going to cut each log at eight inches so it should be a nice fair comparison so let's cut the first one off and see how long it actually takes i'll do this pretty quick on your marks get set go yep stopped for the first time and again there is a safety cut off in these stop it over eating a burning and again And again, and again, come on, and stop the timer, stop, 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 minute and 40 seconds, crap, absolutely, it definitely needs a sharp. That's all the cuttings, as you can see, it is pretty fine, or it's very fine. So I'll save that, put it somewhere, and we'll compare that as well at the end of the sharpening. So the first thing you want to do, get it open. Get your file holder, just pop them off, like so. Super easy, so they're not going to go anywhere because they are attached. Then what you want to do is to pick up your correct file for your chain. Put your file on the back. And all you're going to do then, get those little springs, push it back over, clip it into place, do the same on the front. Get your Joe Mangle, your angle, and push it on. And you are now ready to start filing. So on some chains, it actually tells you just there, you can see the angle that you need to be filing at. So on your file holder, what you've got, it's got different angles as to what you might need to file your chain at. So you've got 35, 30 and 25. That line sits the same angle as what your chain's running at, as you can see just there. So my chain's going that way and that just drops bang on top of there. Then that gives you then 
the correct angle just there that's 30 to what you need to be running at if you need to be running out at 35 you just twist it and alter it and then if it's 25 then you're just gonna put that line just there on top of your chain and then you're just gonna be staying on that angle as you're filing it right so you've got your correct angle you know what you need to file to you need to place it on top so when you're filing what you want to do is you want to keep it as straight as you can you don't want to be up you don't want to be down like that what you want to do nice and flat on top of there work to your angle that you've got on your bar and then all you're going to be doing is pushing it forwards grab all of your chain as well with your fingers just like that push it forwards you're pushing on your weight out then you're relaxing you're not backwards and forwards you're not polishing your trumpet so once you've started on your first one nice little tip get a sharpie some sort of pen mark it and then when you get back to the start you know where you started from and there you have it we're back at the start so all you want to do is get your depth gauge which is set at 0.25 of an inch put it right up to your back tooth get your file and all you're going to do same motion as you did before keep that nice and flat on your chain same motion as before so you're filing going forwards just there on that front tooth to get it nice and flat and then once you've done that you don't want a square edge just gently just round that off so it's nice and smooth going round and that's it it's done now my chain's super sharp what we're going to do is cut the log see how long it takes and see if it's made any difference or whatsoever to make sure it's a fair test i'm going to get a fully charged battery just there which is guarded by the hulk hulk mania brother Get the new battery on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to cut it quicker than what it did before. So, let's get ready and start cutting on your marks. Get set, go. Thirty seconds. 30 seconds I can't believe how much time it saved a minute and 10 seconds that is unreal just by sharpening my chain taking like five minutes let's compare the sawdust to the previous sawdust when I cut it unsharpened there is literally probably three times as much from the first cut really fine that's the second cut I tried to catch as much as I could but look at the difference how coarse that is compared to that and how much there is or how little there is of the second cut like i said to you earlier the best indication to know when your chainsaw needs sharpening is look at your sawdust it's the easiest one as regards to the oregon 617067 field sharpening kit with a warning of cancer if you're in the state of california yay it's ace i think i paid 15 pounds for that which is probably the same in dollars might be 20 Canadian something like that but for the money for the price for the time it's taken to do it and to cut my logs unbelievable unbelievable would I buy it again yes should you buy one if you're thinking about buying one yes buy one it's great so I'll deactivate croc mode and I'll get back to living my life see you later ta-da